So today for lunch, I'm going to make some garlic parmesan zucchini rounds for a side dish. And uh, first thing you're going to do is, uh, of course you want to wash them. Uh, and we're going to cut them in rings. I'd say you want to cut them about like that because you don't want them to go to mush. So, you know, about a fourth inch thick. So let me go ahead and get all that cut up. And when it's all cut up, that's how you look. Like I said, I try to make them pretty much the same, and I actually cut them both, I put, put them together, and I cut them. So, <clears throat> so there you go. I got my zucchini cut up. So now we'll get the garlic cloves ready. Two garlic cloves for this recipe. And they make this garlic uh, skin remover. You basically just put the cloves inside of it, and you basically just kind of roll it back and forth with your hand. And uh, I don't know if this makes it easier, but I think I'd show it because I had it. And just kind of keep rolling it pretty aggressively and, you know, eventually it'll take all the skin off the cloves. And for this recipe, I'm going to just kind of remove the ends. And uh, I'm not going to mince them. I'm actually cut them in some, some little thin slices. So let me get all that done. So pretty simple to cook them. Uh, go ahead and get your pan heated up and go ahead and put in the uh, olive oil. This is uh, two tablespoons. And we'll let that get nice and hot before we add the uh, zucchini to it. And once the oil gets up to hot, go ahead and add the zucchini. Okay, so far we've been about three and a half minutes. And uh, Probably could have put a little less, that way I'd have had one layer, but I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it. Like I said, it's starting to brown a little bit, so we'll do another three minutes, and then we'll add some seasoning to it. Been a total of six minutes. Go ahead and add the uh, garlic uh, cloves to it, as well as the uh, Italian seasoning to it. And that's kind of optional. And uh, we'll also add a little bit of salt and black pepper to it. So just Fresh ground black pepper. And a little bit of salt to get it started. And we'll just let it keep cooking until the uh, zucchini is tender. So it's not quite there yet. Alright, we've been about 8 minutes now. We'll go ahead and give it a little taste, see what we got to add to it. Mm. We'll definitely need to add a little more salt to it. I think that'd be a good idea and uh, I didn't want to salt it too early because it would make the uh, zucchini release moisture and they wouldn't get a good brown on them that's how I, I kind of waited you know to the end and uh, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more black pepper and I think they're actually pretty tender now because you don't want to cook them where they're mush so you know just get it to where they're just getting tender and as you can see, the uh, the garlic is just starting to get a little brown on them, uh, so that's that's good. I mean, you don't you don't want a burnt garlic taste. That's why I added that towards the end as well. Here's our Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and add that to it, and we're gonna cook this about one minute just to get everything incorporated. So I actually only did it about 30 seconds with the fire on low, and uh, that's pretty much it. Just let it sit until you're ready to eat. Uh, I'm going to have this with some red beans and pork, fresh pork sausage. But uh, this is going to be my little side dish. So, yep, it should be pretty tasty. And the reason I added, like I said, the, the, the garlic at the end so, so it wouldn't brown and get that burnt taste. 
So, you know, added after about, uh, I forget what it was, eight minutes of cooking, I added it. So maybe, yeah, two minutes of cooking, I did the garlic for. I'd say a total of 10 minutes for the whole thing. So, there you go. And definitely a, a simple way to prepare a zucchini. So let me go ahead and get it plated up. And I'll show you what it looks like. Well, let's give it a little taste now and see what we got. Let's say a little garlic, a little bit of the cheese, zucchini slice. Hmm. It's very good. Like I said, the key is don't overcook it. You don't want it to be a big pile of mush in the plate. You want them to keep their shape a little bit. So, yeah, there you go. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks.